Okay, so news that I unexpectedly found when I was looking for the preview for Rampage tonight. Um, is that Tony Khan, ha I mean Tony Khan, Nick Khan, appearing, uh, this is from Fightful Select, Tony Khan, uh, sorry, Nick Khan, Nick Khan, Nick Khan. In appearing on CNBC discussing the WWE, the potential WWE, uh, uh, discussing the WWE product and if a potential sale was to come together, Nick said that the WWE, the market is robust for the potential sale for the WWE product and that he is on record saying that he thinks it will be a quick process for the company to be sold. And it would only take about three months for that to happen. Three months, maybe. I'm not, you know, I'm not surprised necessarily because it is easy if other, if both, if all parties involved want it to happen. And, you know, if you get, you know, this set up and that set up, then it could easily happen. But just to, like, for... A sale of the co a company the size of WWE to only take three months is a little dumbfounding to me unless WWE, in my opinion, unless the company has a pre-existing relationship with the party that they're selling to. Like WWE does with... Uh, like WWE does with Comcast, a.k.a. NBC Universal. And in my opinion, that is something that WWE, I think that if there was any potential suitor for the company, that NBC Universal is the one that makes the most sense because of the lengthy relationship that WWE has had with NBC Universal and with NBC Universal over the years, as NBC Universal has been WWE's broadcast partner since the 80s, pretty much, with WWE and NBC having ties dating back to Saturday Night's main event, early days of Monday Night Raw, early days of just television in general, with WWE taking NBC, with WWE taking, I mean, not WWE, sorry, with Vince and Dick Ebersole, a former top executive, and NBC Universal having a long standing relationship. And WWE just, I mean, just think about the leeway and the latitude that USA Network was willing to give WWE during the Attitude Era. But also Nick Khan went on record, went further to say during the interview that Vince has said to himself, to him being Nick Khan, other management and the board of directors that that he is, uh, that, let me, uh, get a second to, let me get a second to, um, to read the quote for your faces. And it goes, you were right, it's very tough to take control from him, and he has built he has built uh, an empire that has certainly been good to me and good by me. Or good for me. Good by me and good for me. Vince has declared, though, to the board, to me, and to other management that he is 100% open to a transaction where he is not included in the company moving forward. I really believe he is looking for the best value for shareholders. And for shareholders, keep in mind, he is also a shareholder. He's 77 years old. I think he's ready to take a look at the landscape. And Khan was posed the same question later in the interview and reiterated his answer. He was also asked if Vince was involved in the creative process since returning. And he echoed Triple H's comments from financial calls that Vince McMahon has not been involved creatively since returning to the board. Again, like I said during the news video, which I didn't know that there was information about the sale 
until I went on Fightful looking for a preview of Rampage that I would further dig into the information to help you guys better understand what's going on. I didn't expect this to be out there, and I'm not surprised, like I said, that a sale could happen that quickly because I think this has been something that WWE has been talking about or trying to figure out for even longer since, or I know WWE because it's been rumored for years if Vince would sell, and it was a big thing during the pandemic that WWE was setting up the books and preparing the books for a potential sale. So it is possible that WWE has spoken to a company like Comcast or a company like Endeavor or, you know, Amazon or NBC or, you know, whatever about a potential sale of the company and is just finally looking at likely selling it and seriously looking at selling it. And it's not necessarily that the company is, you know, wanting to get it done and get it done quick. It's that they have spoke, they could have previously spoken to other companies about it. And it, you know, like the right company, the process isn't going to take that long. You know, with the right company, the process is not going to take that long. And I know that based on just what I know about business, you know, sales and business and yada, 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 it, the process doesn't have to take an extended period of time. You know what I mean? But it is a very pleasant sight that Vince would be so committed to the idea of stepping down if that was what was best for the company. And I agree with Nick Khan that I think he's 77 years old and Vince is ready to take a look at the landscape that maybe the world has passed him by and he's and it's time for him to step down. But this has been a, though a small update, it has been an update that is easy to digest about WWE and the, and the potential sale of the company that Nick Khan thinks that the process would be quick. It would be a fast process and maybe take three months. He did not say that it would take three months, but he does believe that it could be a quick process. And I believe the same, that it could be a quick process with the right company and that we won't know until it's almost done. What's going on, in my opinion, based on NDAs and just due diligence and all that nonsense. We will know potential suitors, but we won't know about the official sale until it is officially completed. Either way, though, this has been an update for you guys to have a better idea of what's going on with WWE and a potential sale. Remember, the company wants the sale to be done before the summertime or by around the summertime. So I think after WrestleMania, we could be seeing a little bit more news about this situation. And if we do, I will bring it right to you guys. So you guys know the, uh, you, so you guys know everything that is going on as I do the, ser I do the searching. So y'all don't have to either way. I will see you in the next video.